So what I'm about to share with you, your favorite YouTubers will not tell you. The top creators will not even tell you. But I'm going to spill it to you anyway. Let's just get right into this video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to go straight to the point. I came across Ginika's recent video on YouTube. So Ginika is a YouTuber who shares videos around her lifestyle and her relocation to UK and all of that. So most of you know Ginika Talks. So recently I stumbled upon her video where she talked about um, she putting up on her community tab asking her viewers like what kind of videos they would love to be watching or what kind of content they want to be seeing on her channel so she can be creating content like that so many people made their choices many people told her like the kinds of content they want to be seeing some suggested vlogs others were like tutorials and all of that so something caught my attention because somebody mentioned she creating videos concerning her struggles on youtube and she made a comment i'm just going to play the video for you to watch then i'm going to come back and tell you more i think about that statement that she made king nyasha commented that i should post more videos on my youtube struggles thank you so much for that comment i kind of feel as if if i post videos on my youtube struggles i'm taking favor matthew and vibe with sonia them kind of content but then as much as i can i will always always share my struggles because my channel is about sharing experience sharing my own truth from any angle of whatever it is that i come across so that's the comments that she made she was like if she creates video around tutorials or around her struggle rather on youtube it's going to be like she's trying to take favor matthew's content or she's trying to take vibe with sonia's content and i'm like that comment or that statement act really really caught my attention let me just make something clear youtube is a world of its own like it's so big that everybody can thrive you know everybody can actually fly so there's no such thing like you're trying to take somebody out or you don't want it to look like i am trying to copy somebody even those people that you're talking about they have youtube channels where they draw their inspirations from let the truth be told they have people where they get ideas from and there's no such thing as you trying to copy somebody's content that's where uniqueness comes in everybody on youtube is unique in their own way even if a thousand or a million people have shared concerning that topic when you share yours you are unique in your own way so it's not like you're trying to copy somebody's content it's really good to get inspiration from other youtubers especially youtubers that are ahead of you and are doing well for themselves except you have grown your channel to a certain stage whereby you've already built the subscriber community and you've already built your watch hour whereby wherever you post you have a community that are willing to watch your kind of content but for us that are still growing that are still struggling to get subscribers and to get views on this youtube the best thing to do to grow your watch hour to grow your subscriber count is to look out for youtubers that are doing well and this youtuber i'm not talking about youtubers that have like a hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers you can look out for youtubers in your niche that have subscriber counts like 10,000, 20,000, 8,000, and channels that their views is way higher than their subscriber counts this way you can get ideas from their channel you are not trying to copy them but you can draw inspiration you can get content ideas when it comes to like your thumbnails when it comes to like the title and also the formula they use in that video these are like formulas that they have that is proven to work these are like things that they, they, they that is tested out on youtube see youtube there is nothing like a set formula on how your video can go viral even those big youtubers that have even a million subscribers there is nothing like they own on their channel or there's nothing that they do that makes their video go viral that is why even when you go to those youtubers when you go to their channel you find out that most of their videos are doing very very well on the other videos so if there is a certain um or something you can do to make your videos go viral why didn't they do it on their other videos that have lesser views so what i'm just trying to say is that see when you post your video on youtube whether you're a big youtuber or you're a small youtuber the possibility of your video going viral is mainly by luck but the thing is we just have to put ourselves in the best position to go viral that is just it this is when we have to work on our titles we have to work on our thumbnails we have to work on like the content of our videos to make sure like it's okay that is just what i'm on here to share that the world or the youtube space is very very big for everybody to thrive for everybody to grow for everybody to reach their full potential on youtube by being 
who they are being unique in their own way but also you can get ideas you can try to draw inspirations from other big youtubers if you do this it's really going to help your channel and not everybody will tell you this on youtube not everybody will come out and tell that oh my video that i'm making i drew my inspiration from this channel they will not tell you because they are only using that thing to grow their channel so in this video to support other content creators who feel like um getting inspiration from bigger channels is kind of like copying you are not copying anybody you're only trying to borrow their already proven formula or strategy and applying it to your channel and see if it works sometimes you might even get these ideas from them apply it to your channel and it still doesn't work already they've already gotten the views they want in that video so you're not trying to outshine anybody you're not trying to take uh, take out their hard work or nothing you're not trying to do any of that don't let anybody make you feel like that if you know that you're out of content ideas you can just look out for youtubers that are in your niche that are doing way more than yourself channels that their views are higher than their subscribers get content from them and try to check out how they made their thumbnails how they made their title how their title is or what they put in their titles and just how the, the concept of that video you apply this to your own channel and it might blow up your channel you never can tell so i hope this video inspires somebody and i am not in any way trying to put anybody in any negative light or whatever I also follow those people that I mentioned and I am also their uh, supporter or their fan. So please, I'm just putting this video out there just to encourage content creators that are like me that if you know that you're out of content ideas and you don't even know what to put out because one thing about YouTube is consistency. If you're not consistent on YouTube, YouTube will think you're not serious with your life. So for you to be consistently putting out content, creating this content is not a day job. Even when you even try to draw these inspirations from this big content creators you filming you putting out this content is a whole lot of work so you're trying to make take these ideas and mold it into a unique idea and it's going to be from you you're trying to replicate these ideas and make it unique in your own way so it is not even easy there are lots of people doing the same thing on youtube so there's no such thing as you copying them even when you even get ideas from them there's a way you can tweak and twist it and you know make that video unique in your own way you understand so thank you so much i hope this video was helpful i hope this video inspired somebody if it was if you learned something at least please like my video subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, i will definitely see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and until i see you next time bye